Hello guys, today we talk about this week of the box office, and yep, we had the full box office for all most of the movies, except for Fantastic Beasts. They have, someone did update the box office, but there's really no point updating Fantastic Beasts box office, because the movie is below a million as well. And they didn't even pass, it's gonna probably pass $1 million worldwide. But it still will probably be considered a failure because it's a big movie and those movies typically cost a lot to market. They make of the Eternals, okay, as well. And then it's a part of the, one of the most, you know, profitable franchises of all time and probably movie history, uh, Harry Potter. So number one movie is still Top Gun, which is no surprise. They have updated the worldwide total and it's not really doing that well over worldwide. It's only doing... $260 million worldwide. So, it is a movie that will need to pick up the pace internationally if it needs to make a billion dollars. But, I don't, I said this movie might make a billion dollars, but again, this movie, again, the international numbers, just like for Batman, are not really doing the numbers it needs to make a billion dollars. So, this movie will still be a success, but sadly, Doctor Strange will still be the highest gross rate of the movie of the year for now. So, yeah, movie made $260 million worldwide. And Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, $843 million worldwide. Yep, it, no, not $873. $873 million, not $843. This movie has even passed $900 million. Okay. People are saying, it's too big billion dollars. It's still can't make it. These people who the sales for Marvel will still tell you it will still make a billion dollars. Disney has it in the bag. Okay. You know. Jurassic World is coming in two weeks, okay, which is going to be the big competition that this movie will not want to see, which means this movie will likely tap around $940 to $970 million if it has particularly good rigs for the next week or so. Uh, Yeah, Doctor Strange at $833 million worldwide, and it isn't that good. It's, it's still a successful movie, but it isn't the billion dollars I think Marvel was hoping for. Okay? I think Marvel was hoping that this would be a surefire billion dollar hit. I think DC was probably hoping that Batman made a billion dollars, but again, Batman's a three hour movie. Okay? And didn't really have that good international sales for some, you know, strange and absurd reason. Then, but Doctor Strange... Didn't really do it. it didn't, it's not really doing. It isn't getting the numbers it needs to pass the billion dollar mark. If it was like at nine hundred fifty million dollars at this billion dollars at this point, yeah, this movie would make a billion dollars. But next week, yeah, there's no movies coming out. But I think Doctor Strange will actually go back at eight hundred forty, eight hundred forty to eight hundred forty billion million dollars, which means they'll probably make another twenty to forty million dollars next week. Jurassic World will probably. Be a lot, make it around 10 to 20 million. Right year was also coming out as well. It was probably diminished it to like 5 to 6 billion, and then like 2 to 3 million. And it will not make it, will probably make like 850 million dollars. I think that would be the gross for Dr. Strange. Well, on that much. Bob's Burgers, the movie. Apparently, people were asking for this movie, but again, no one's watching it. Again, I didn't ask for Bob's Burgers movie. Again, I, don't, I never watched the show, so. Yeah, I never. No one really asked for a Bob's Burgers movie, so yeah. <laughs> Dunton Abbey again, a box office flop at this current moment. Again, all it needs to do is make ten million more dollars. They have updated the worldwide total to seven million dollars worldwide, which means this movie just needs to make ten million more dollars, and it will be a successful movie. Some people are saying it needs to make a hundred million dollars. No, it just needs to make ten million dollars more dollars, which it will probably easily make. Which means we'll probably get a third movie in this franchise. Yep. We'll probably get a third Downton Abbey movie. The And that one will probably... Again, Hollywood will do anything to keep the franchises. They're making a third Angry Birds movie as well. They're making a second Tomb Raider movie. Again, Hollywood needs to think of new ideas and not revisit the same old, same old over and over and over again. Okay. They'll probably greenlight a third movie. Just like how they greenlight a third Angry Birds movie. And the second Tomb Raider movie. And this movie will do basically like those two bo- the, it's doing like the like the sequel like the first two made a movie be worldwide. Well didn't really make that much money in the second Angry Birds movie that much worldwide. So Downton Abbey again, you know 
The bad guys, yeah, they're probably, and this is another movie they'll probably green light a sequel to, is the bad guys, because again, Hollywood is obsessed with anything new, any new franchise that could be a success, you know, you know, they, they'll see that, oh, uh, uh, if people, if this makes money, there could be a sequel, <laughs> you know, again, they won't make a, I, that's why they find they won't make a Rita sequel, but they'll make a sequel to Tomb Raider, or they'll make a sequel to the Angry Birds movie too. Even though the Angry Birds movie 2 didn't really make that much money. Okay. Tomb Raider, that was basically basically a box office flop and they're making a sequel to that. Okay. Yeah, the bad guys, it's, it's, it did pretty well for not being based off any new, any IP or any franchise. I think it'll pass $200 million. It's going to pass $200 Yeah, it's going to pass $200 million worldwide. It could probably make like $220 million worldwide, but... It's not one of DreamWorks' better grossing movies either. Uh, so, yeah. Next is Everything Everywhere All At Once. For some reason, this movie continues to make money. Me, I just don't get... I, I, I haven't seen it. I don't get why this movie is making so much money domestically. So, yeah. Next is Sonic 2. Again... It had $385 million worldwide. This movie could pass $400 million worldwide. There is a possibility that this could. If it continues to do like the numbers it has been doing. There's no movies coming out next week. So $390 million is inedible. It will probably barely pass $400 million like Uncharted did. Okay. Again, the only reason why this movie hasn't pa- passed the original is that the international box office is racking for this movie. Okay, the first movie did better, I think, internationally. Well, I think it passed the, I think it passed the worldwide of the first movie. So it did pass the worldwide of the first movie. But yeah, the, it actually it did better than the first movie internationally. It's, the first movie made like $321 million worldwide. But again, Sonic 2, Wall City, yep. Wall City that $181 million worldwide. Again, this movie is done pretty okay. I think the, 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 the advertising this, on Paramount Plus, so it'll probably do pretty well on Paramount Plus, Blu-ray, DVD, Digital HD as well. So, yep. Men, again, a box office failure. It deserves it. It's woke. It's trash. And that's basically about this video. Goodbye. There's also F3 in Fun and Frustration. Oh, uh, yeah, it's an Indian movie. So, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>